Well, here we are on day eight. Page 32 of The Fruit of the Spirit, Love, Your Daily Meditation. Love in deed and truth. Little children, let us love not in word or speech, but in deed and truth. Little children, let us love not in word or speech, but in deed and truth. Little children, let us love not in word or speech, but in deed and truth. Little children, let us love not in word or speech, but in deed and truth. Just repeating the verse to yourself, 1 John chapter 3 verse 18. Little children, let us not love in word or speech, but in deed and truth. Little children, let us not love in word or speech, but in deed and truth. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Happy is the heart, Lord, knowing that you have filled me with your loving truth. Let me honour you in ways that set a guard over falsities, ever bringing forth from me a melody attuned to heavenly trumpets that herald, here is one who loves in deed and in truth. Amen. I'm minded of the deed and the truth. And I remember as I was coming to Christianity, having loved Jesus since I was a young girl, then denying God in my early adulthood, then coming to God again. Later, in my 30s, and I remember I'm writing about it just now in, in the second book of Grace, Living Faith, and I was sitting in my wee cottage in the Scottish Pentland Hills. The room opened up as it does in God's presence. And my Heavenly Father said, and now you will follow my son and you will be a daughter of God. And I thought to myself, and I said out loud, but I thought I was already a daughter of God. Such hubris. And the Lord gave me affirmation. Yes, you, you are a daughter of God. But when you follow my son, when you follow Jesus, you become a daughter of God in deed and in truth. And truth has always been the pinnacle of my seeking. It might be the same for you. Seeking the truth. And I realized that 
while I was seeking the truth in the world, the truth out there, the deed of my truth wasn't always reflected in my life. In fact, my deeds would often go against the truth that I was seeking, the truth in Christ, the truth that is holiness, the truth that leads to sanctification. And yet, some of my behaviours were quite contrary to that. And that's part of human life. It's part of how we learn to survive in the world. It's part of how we navigate the world through competition, through hierarchy, through betterment, through challenge, through societal structures that gear us particular ways. But when we're seeking truth, truth and deed, as an expression of how we love and how we love in Christ. And there's a whole rewriting of ourselves that happens. And it's not that we become uh, without semblance of who we are. That's not it at all. It's just that that which has been placed upon us by the world is removed, it's pruned away and a new person emerges from that, a person who loves in deed and in truth. And I recognised that while I was striving towards the truth that for me was Jesus Christ and living that. The greatest deed that was the expression of that life and my faith was baptism. And it might be the same for you. You might not ever have been baptised or you might be considering baptism or you might be looking to be baptised anew now that you're an adult and your faith is, well, it's different. It's alive in Christ in a new way. And you are a person, an expression of that newness that the Holy Spirit has born in you over the years, over the decades, perhaps. Certainly I was. And in that afternoon, when the Lord spoke to me to follow Jesus and to become a child of God, a woman of God, in deed as well as in truth, that deed was to be baptised. It was to surrender uh, my way for the way of Christ, to turn my back on the darkness towards the light. And we can say we've done that. But when we're baptised, we're actually brought into the body of Christ, we're actually brought into the church, we're actually brought into the kingdom of God in a new way with Christ in our heart. That's where I'm led today by the Holy Spirit. <laughs> a little children, let us love not in word or speech, but in deed and truth. Now you might be receiving something else from the Lord that speaks to you. 
more intimately. Let us love, let us love, not in word or speech, but indeed in truth. You remember that I was talking about the roofers in day six, maybe, I think it was. Well, they have returned. So I'm leaving you with day eight, love indeed and truth. Today your heart lives anew in God's truth. Keep watch on your tongue, on your intonations and intentions, on your behaviours and your thoughts. Notice deceit. Catch a lie before it is spoken. Act from honest love and celebrate your authenticity in Christ in the world. Love indeed and truth. God bless you this day. Day 8. The fruit of the Spirit, love.